हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द रेगुलेटरी अथॉरिटीज ऑफ यूरोपियन यूनियन राइट सो वॉट एवर द ड्रग रेगुलेटरी अथॉरिटीज इट विल बी देयर इन द डिफरेंट कंट्रीज डिफरेंट डिफरेंट पैटर्न्स दे एडॉप्ट सो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द यूरोपियन कंट्रीज और यूरोपियन यूनियंस राइट हाउ दे आर प्रोसीडिंग्स इट इज देयर फॉर द न्यू ड्रग एप्लीकेशन एंड uh for the marketing authorization and all those things so let us discuss uh, what happened in their countries right so the topic is overview of regulatory authorities of european union right so let us discuss the outline of how they are uh, the authorization they are going to uh, obtain by the different steps here also timeline it is required so ema european medical agency notifies the reporter or co reporter means it is the uh, per it is the person appointed by the medical uh, european medical agency uh, which is going to uh, submit the report to the particular agency all uh, right so uh, here it will be notify it takes a seven month and then whatever the application it is filed by the particular sponsor or manufacturer that application it will go under validation it is going to take 15 days or 2 week right then it will go for the next step that is called a cxmp scientific assessment right so here the x it has been attached actually it will be useful for these are the different committees of the european medical agency right so uh, say for example here the first one committee for medicinal products for human use chmp right so this x means h so whatever the uh, application it is filed uh, out of this particular so they are going to handle that particular application for review okay so what is happening here uh, the chmp uh, or you can say the c uh, what you call committee for the medicinal products uh, for human use scientific assessment uh they are going to review uh, scientifically they are going to review up, uh, based on this up, uh, submitted data uh, submitted evidences of the particular drug then uh, they are going to have the opinion right so after reviewing all those data and documentation they will have some opinion if it is <coughs> if not in agreement if it is not coming under the agreement again re examination it is going to taken place and the final opinion the particular committee is going to have which will be further go to the european commission or if they find here in their opinion if it is up to the marks and positive opinion directly they can go to the in front of european commission right so uh, european commission they are going to have the after reviewing all those submitted data by the scientific committee uh draft commission decision so uh, once uh, uh, the european commission it will have the decision they are going to drop this commission decision then it will go standing committee then after it will going to the go for the decision granting community marketing authorization ultimately it will uh, now the doctors or physicians can prescribe the particular medication and it can go for the marketing so this from uh, after reaching to the european commission to the marketing of authorization it takes uh, 67 days whereas uh, it is <coughs> if it is not falling under the agreement and up to the final decision it may take 120 days so here timelines it is also important right so uh, here we have uh, discussed about the cxmp scientific committee so what are those committee may be so it is the uh, these are there are the seven committees right uh, european medical agencies scientific committee the the first one is the committee for the medicinal products of human use chmp second one is the pharmacovigilance risk assessment committee p r a c right so pharmacovigilance the whatever the proceeding it is going on adverse effect the side effect what is the kind of risk may be there uh, for the particular new drug when it is uh, under the preclinical or the clinical stage so that assessment whatever the committee it go that is called a pharmacovigilance risk assessment committee the third one is the committee for the medicinal products for veterinary use c m v p right so whatever the animal uh, medication animal medicines are there uh, 
medicinal products are there for that also there is a committee which is going to have the review and they are going to give the decision the fourth one is the committee for the orphan medicinal products c o m p right so there are so many orphan medicine uh, medicinal products like uh, which will not be having their proper background decision uh, background uh, work of that medicine if it, ha it has been uh, no uh, this thing uh, scientific evidences right so this this medication are called orphan medicine and uh, for that also there is a committee which is going to look after that uh, submitted uh, evidences and they are going to give the decision the fifth one committee for herbal medicinal products so whatever the drugs which is coming from medicinal plants uh, herbs uh, uh, those medicinal products uh, also there is a, so many safety efficacy and uh, uh, toxicity profiles that they are going to review and they are going to give the decision to use and all those things approval and all so the, for that the, this committee is there sixth one committee for the advanced therapy if any uh, CAT that's what CAT it is called uh, advanced therapies are for example uh, uh, it may be for the cancer it may be for antiviral like uh, uh, now COVID-19 has come so uh, what is the kind of uh, advanced therapy it is required to come out from that particular disease it may be life threatening disease or conditions so for that also there is a committee and which is going to review whether it is safe or not ultimately safety is first a primary important toxicity is uh, uh, we have to look after then only we can think about the therapeutic activity in all the committee in all the regulatory bodies so basically they are for that reason only the next one is the pediatric committee sir pdco right so whatever the medication it is for the children's kids and fan so uh, for that also there is a, some screening some kinds of uh, scientific deeply serious research serious review it is required for that that's what this committee seven committee it is there with the european medical agencies and uh, this is the uh, schematic diagrams to take the approval with the timelines which is very important so that is the regulatory authorities which exist in european countries thank you